What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Fanta Season, aka Fanta, and if you're OG, you might even know me as Imagine Slaying. And as you guys can see from this gameplay, this is my new 6 6 build, but that is unrelated. I'm just letting you guys know that because I am going to be dropping the 6 6 video for you guys, as well as the 6 for that video and a dribble tutorial for that. But as you guys can tell from the title, these are the best 6 in my opinion for right now. A lot of you guys were asking for my sigs as you guys can see from that what justin wager if you watched it already you should watch that wager video so you guys can see what you're getting yourself into by equipping these sigs let's get straight into the sigs video i'm gonna give you guys these best sigs and then i'm gonna show you what each and every move does now that we are in the gatorade facility as you guys can see let's get into every single sig i have on and how to use each and every move. As you guys can see, everything is blurred. I'm gonna be showing you guys it two at a time until we get to the very end where it doesn't matter. Those six kind of don't matter. But anyways, enough of talking about nothing. As you guys can see, we have dribble style Kyrie Irving and we have signature size up Steve Francis. Let's get into exactly what the dribble style does and the Steve Francis. If you guys don't already know from previous years, Steve Francis, you let go of everything and flick to the opposite ball hand. As you guys can see, it's this animation right here. If I do this and run out of it, this is my Steve Francis. This is what it looks like. This is the best thing to combo with, just to give you a quick example. And the dribble style, this is gonna be Kyrie Irving dribble style. This is gonna be the speed boost you actually get running out of these moves. I feel like with every single dribble style, you get a decent speed boost out of your R2 cross, which is me personally. You guys are gonna see what cross this is, but I can do that out of it. And then if I run the same way, this is what it looks like. But if I do a normal cross, this is the dribble style that activates that cross. This cross right here, out of any other move, not R2, that is Kyrie Irving, as well as my speed boost off of a soft move like this, my Francis. You see, I get, I get a decent speed boost. That's also from Kyrie Irving. Now let's get straight into the next move. Regular breakdown combo, Isaiah Thomas, aggressive breakdown combo, uh, Jamal Murray. Let me show you exactly what these two moves do. Regular breakdown combo is just gonna be let go of everything, flick forward with your right stick. I don't do this move much, but I feel like these moves activate by themselves. And I would just rather have a good one on rather than like some crazy thing that gives you a nasty move. Now, if you hold your right trigger and do right stick up, this is my aggressive breakdown. I don't really do those moves, but those are the two that I have on because they just distract you the least when you accidentally trigger them. All right, now I'm gonna show you the next three sigs, but the most important one is gonna be this escape moves Kemba Walker. That's exactly what you guys have been asking me about ever since that Justin Wager. What is that crossover? How are you doing that quick little combination? You could also get it on bigger builds. I use it on my 6.6, it is super effective. I love using it. Um, it's slightly slower than Trey Young, but I, you can do the moves faster and you can do more out of it. So that's why I personally like it. But yeah, Kemba Walker, combo move, Steph Curry. Once again, I don't really do combo moves, but that's what I have. And crossover, John Wall. Now let's get on the court and let me break down exactly what these moves are. This is the Kemba Walker you guys have been asking for. I am holding my right trigger and just flicking to the opposite ball hand, just like this. Now, if I chain it together with all my moves, this is probably what you guys see, see me doing a lot. Where you guys how do you do that i'm doing nothing but r2 and i just like that the crossover is so good out of it with trey young you could do that as well but it's kind of like a forward crossover and doesn't really create space with this kemba you can run off this crossover so let's say i'm going left for example and i want to l2 cancel as if i'm coming back middle and then i can snap back to the left that's because i'm pointing my left stick the same direction after crossing so if i like cross to the left there i'm pointing my left stick to the right and that's that aggressive crossover that i'm getting that is kemba walker also if you l2 cancel back and forth this is what it looks like it's super fast in my opinion i feel like it's just faster and it you can go into your move if you struggle to l2 cancel or can't l2 cancel at all i want you to try out kemba walker the move activates a lot faster than trey young so it takes a lot less timing with your l2 cancel this is what it's going to look like when you're just l2 canceling left and right with kemba i've been on xbox for a little bit so i'm messing up my moves with this controller but i once again i don't do combo moves but if you hold r2 and flick to the opposite ball hand back to the same ball hand really fast that's going to be that curry and then this is going to be your John Wall crossover right here. It's super aggressive. Everybody does it, especially on the big builds. Now, let me put you on soup with this crossover right now. If you play park or anything where you have a lot of space, people are going to hate me for showing you guys this. But this is what all the glitchy kids are doing. You do a crossover, you take it wide, 
that's that John Wall crossover. Right into your dunk like that all game long. That is super effective. I'm probably gonna get a bunch of hate from the other creators for showing y'all this. It's super glitchy, super annoying. I personally hate it, but you know what I'm saying? I can't gatekeep from you boys. Do this John Wall crossover when you beat someone in the slightest. It throws you to the rim at 100 miles per hour. It's hard to cut off and you get an aggressive dunk out of it almost every single time. All right, as you guys can see, I gave free reign. I'm not gonna make this video unnecessarily long. Behind the back, Jaw Murray, spin, basic, hesitation, John Morant, step back, Stephen Curry, triple threat, I have Michael Jordan, but I don't ever really do that. Flashy pass, I don't have any on. Now let's break down these moves for the final time and then we can wrap up this video. I'm sure all of you guys already know about this, but this is the Jamal Murray behind the back. This aggressive behind the back right here, you can L2 cancel out of it, break down defenders easily with it. That behind the back is easily one of the best, if not the best behind the back in the game. Right here, boom, snap it, green it, thank me later. That is very good. The only other sig that I just showed you that matters, or that I do, is the step back, which is Steph Curry. You wanna hold your right trigger down and then just flick down with your right stick. Now, if you flick down twice, you could do the, the, the snatch into the behind the back. I'm just flicking down twice. But if you don't flick down twice to do the Murray, you want to hold your right trigger and just flick to the opposite ball hand diagonally down like so. You can also spam the behind the back like this. All, the way you do that is you want to behind the back, do flick. You got to keep R2 held this whole time, by the way. Behind the back, if I behind the back to the left, I'm going to flick to the same ball hand with the right stick and then do it to the left. So it kind of cancels it and then you could do it back and forth like that. For the John Morant sig, this is what this is. You're basically doing that and then uh, doing the behind the back right back to the next spot. Shout out to Leica, he put me on. But just like this. If you wanna do it repetitively, this is what it looks like. Oops. and then you can shoot off of it. All right, that is about it for this SIGs video. I promise you, I would never steer you guys wrong. Those are, in my opinion, the best SIGs in this new season. I think it's super effective. I don't think you could go wrong with these SIGs. I feel like they're very easy to learn. And obviously, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use these SIGs to the maximum potential with an advanced dribble tutorial. Yes, our first advanced dribble tutorial of the year. I'm going to give you guys in-depth breakdowns and combos if you guys get this video to 500 likes yes 500 likes and i will give you guys an in-depth advanced dribble tutorial on how to use these sigs with the controller cam on obviously but that's about it for this video i see you boys in the next video once again follow my twitch i stream on here daily i'm actually live right now recording this youtube video follow those if you want to get in contact with me realistically your best chance to get in contact with me is probably my instagram if you have any questions or tips like that twitter is just like super backed up and spammed so it's tough over there but Follow my Instagram, DM me if you have any questions. It's your boy Fantasy Season, aka Fanta, and if you're an OG, you might even know me as Imagine Slaying, and I'm out. Peace.